Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play European Reservoirs for Mayu and Taxes 3.0 with me, Pile Mega and Osmanli Tebleti. So we are still under the reign of Padishah Mehmed II Osmanli, who is an entrepreneur, temperate, bold fighter, which is a really interesting combination. Our son and heir Mehmed is currently 12. He is going to be a really good administrator, which is good because uh, Mehmed II is really bad at that. Though we're going to be lacking a little bit in diplomacy where Mehmed II is excellent. And the military skill of our future leader is also slightly lower than of the current one. Uh, but that is beside the point right now because um, we really don't have much to do at this point. I have uh, looked around uh, in between episodes. Actually, I haven't recorded in a couple of days because uh, I was uh, busy with work. But there really isn't much uh, that my investigation today, when I started the game, revealed. We could do a couple of things, but none of them seem very good. Now, we still have a truce with Serbia and its allies uh, for another three years. Uh, they will be a welcome target eventually, but for now they are, you know, out of reach. Uh, we do have a possibility to invade Moldova in the north, but despite the fact that they really have nothing um, that could threaten us, uh, they also have nothing that could, you know, seem like a good idea to ponder. They have just four provinces and all of them are fairly poor. There is no major cities, nothing really. Um, I was thinking that maybe taking Basarabia from them would be a good idea because they have a natural location there. And that would be a really... and some mine center of production as well. Kinia. Hmm. But we have forts in Telsa and Constanta. Do you guys have a claim on their provinces? No, not really. So there really isn't much that would you know be interesting for us. I was thinking that we could uh, look into the possibility of alliance with Lithuania, but uh, they are still at war. Our relations are not all that great. I'm still going to improve relations with them uh, to see how it's going to go. We can sign a royal marriage, and I think at that point we will be able to actually uh, get an alliance with them if they ever sign peace. But for now, again, not much we can do there. We can't really attack Orda. Ulus, there is nothing really there for us to make that happen. We could fight Genoa, but they have so many allies that it's a terrible idea. Uh, there is Abkhazia over here, but that's just a one a mountainous province. We don't have any reason to attack them again. Uh, though, you know, speaking of Genoa, I wanted to mention that they have expanded quite significantly in this area, and they do have quite a lot of developed provinces, uh, especially uh, Kaffa is looking extremely juicy with that kind of urban development, amenities rank 3. Uh, they have, what, how many burgers living there? 82,540 citizens. I really do want Kaffa. And it has an even modern castle, so if a war breaks out with them ever, Kaffa is going to be our primary target and so would uh, Cherkio because uh, these would very well complement our you know our current territory. If we could get uh, Matracha and these two as well uh, that would be amazing but again you know that is a song of distant future. Now um, there is nothing really that we can attack in this area either or even screw with because they are all subservient to the Mamluks and I mean all of them. Which is, you know, interesting when you realize it. I kind of miss the fact that there's Al Quds here, uh, which is interesting to see. There are some Jewish minorities living here, but it's mostly Sunni and Shiite and Syriac, then Orthodox and then Jewish. So there definitely is not going to be a province that could turn to Jewish and cause some kind of trouble. So as you can see, there really isn't anything for us to do 
outwards. Now inwards, there is a couple of things that we can do. Uh, we have really bad relations with the nobility at this point. So I checked and we can finally, uh, wait, not to leverage, we want to support the elite. We can finally yield concessions of ancient liberties, which is a great way how to appease them. It lowers the prestige and hero centralization, but neither one hurts us that much, and it gives us relations and progress to stability and loyalty. So that's gonna alleviate a little bit of that issue. I think I mentioned that before, but we desperately need to get rid of uh, the familiar service. That's the biggest contributor to our corruption. But we won't be able to do it anytime soon. Or is it? It's a level one. So I hear somewhere. No, it's high obligation. This one? No, not that one either. Where are you? Just as ambitious court, import autonomy, natural order. Okay, so I can't really see in here about. Where the hell is it? Natural order. High obligations. Yeah, I don't see it here. I investigated a couple of minutes ago, so I think that it might have disappeared for now, but it is the biggest contributor to our corruption, so we really need to get rid of it. And then I think we might want to get rid of uh, the prestigious diplomacy and the ambitious court. All of these are going to be issues uh, for the nobility. So I don't know if there's anything else that we can support them. Overlook tenant abuse. I don't want to do this one because it lowers the welfare of our population and I really don't like it. Land grab. No, let's not do any of that. We'll have to wait. We'll have to wait. Uh, we'll see if some events come around that will appease them. Uh, as far as bureaucracy goes, we do want to get the uh, hierarchy up. We want to. Oh, we could do that? Institute queer hierarchy. Really? Uh, those provincial corruption and those state corruption. Cobb autonomous or increased administrative cost. How can we do that? We don't have. It says state teacher bureaucratic influence are the corruption. I think this might be a bug, honestly, because I was screwing around and looking at stuff. So I'm gonna ignore it for now and I'll revisit it in a month after the game recalculates because I don't want to cheat. And I think it might have gotten confused with what was happening. But yeah, we want to institute uh, the organized uh, bureaucracy because that's gonna be a big help. And it's a prerequisite for tons of reforms that we need to do. We're also building a large amount of ships to strengthen our navies because our limit is now at 41. We don't really have much of a, a limit for... Um, for our military to play with, but I like how it is right now, so I don't mind that. But I'm hoping that we're gonna get a little bit of a boost to money soon, because we really are bleeding left and right. Yeah, we're losing about three gold per month, which is scary, considering that's more than we actually spend on the army. So, yeah, not not great, no, really not great. But again, this comes from the fact that, you know, the elites are mad at us, uh, we have a high overextension, I think it's like 20% at this point, so that's not really helping us either. Uh, what is it, what is it, where do you have, yeah, 18.4, uh, we have a lot of new provinces, we gained Rodos, Siversky, Donets, Magnesia, Lefkosia, oh, yeah, we got Cyprus, it's gonna be a really good source of revenue and food. I think you're producing quite a lot of... Yeah, your urban development is not that high, but the rural one is really good. And there are minor centers of trade, they have great ports, so stuff like that is going to be really good in the long run. And you have good connection to us through ports as well. So either way, it's February now, so let us revisit and the organized 
loose structure. Could we? No, we can't. Okay. Yeah, it was really confused, so I'm glad I didn't do that. We don't have the bureaucratic info. So I don't know why the game thought we do, uh, but again, you know, I, I don't cheat like that. We're, we'll get there eventually. It's not like we won't, but at this point... Okay, stability is dropping, state which is dropping, provincial corruption is increasing. Uh, national income dropped from 100 to 85, so that's hurting. It's actually hurting us quite a lot. Realm expenses are also extremely high. Share of land, share of property. Okay, so we need to wait a little bit for the things to settle. How are we doing on technologies? We could get the veiled criticism, but we are so ahead. It's insane. We still need to finish up with the military ideas. Professional officers? Oh yeah, that's the good one. That gives us yearly army professionals in plus 0 0, uh, 0.5. 0.5, not 0.05, 0.5. And then we have the institutional service, which lowers land attrition. That's also really good. And then prestige from land battles is going to be great. Genoa is calling Crimea its own Well, I mean, come at me, bro. I'm really... Oh! Oh, wow. Okay, I thought that these rebels were on us. 17,000 Orthodox Zealots. Yeah, the provincial unrest is also not good. <laughs> we really need to take a chill pill now because the situation in the realm is not, you know, necessarily developing to our favor. So let us not rile up anyone we don't have to. Bureaucrats, mm, Kroji is okay. Burgers are okay. Let me see if there's anything. Promote and support commerce. Trade efficiency is lowered, but. Okay, let's promote and support commerce. That's always good. And let's see if we can do something with the Kroji. Perform a short motion. Okay, so that makes them more happy. And of curtail now with the bureaucracy. Can we do something here? Empower local trainers. Explore measures to fight corruption. Promote the bureaucratic faction. Expand the bureaucracy. Gain state corruption. Gain bureaucracy corruption. Uh, lower stability, regain extra state to reach. I mean, innovations. I don't. I'm not really interested in that right now. We should do it, uh, but let us not hamper the stability that we have. That's one of the very few things that we're actually doing really well. So let's not just go there. How are you guys doing? Oh, you're losing terribly. And they would definitely accept the alliance. We could go ahead and get a royal marriage with them, but we... <sighs> we would need to annex. We can start annexing the Eretnids. It's one thing that we can do, but I think that we have too many alliances anyway. So it won't really work. Oh, and we have a free ship. We must finish in Constantinople. So let's put you on the agency. And we're gonna send someone else to the Black Sea. And we're reading out naval materials. Not great. Truly not great. Curry favors. Wrong marriage. I'm really surprised that they would go for it. They got a syncretic orthodox fate. Embraced centralism. Embraced commercialization. Anger has been discovered building spy network. Now they're all definitely trying to screw with me, but I am not. Oh, hello. We actually don't want these galleys. So let me disband those. Nothing that's gonna save us a major amount of 
and okay, we can really let's maintain the diplomat here, keeping the Russians up at max. Hmm. to share maps of Alps. We will lose prestige, they will gain prestige, and they would actually give us the map of the Alps. Do you want to do that? Or of Finland? I mean, we have no interest in that area, but... Uh, I think that increases our relations, honestly. Guarantee. Enforce peace. Teutonic order. Hmm. Conquest of foreign trade ports. Uh, expel the foreign traders. Corruption is increasing. Could invest into a new technology. Okay, 2041. Yeah, we need to increase the relations with nobles quite significantly before we remove the familial service. Okay, as the no, the unrest is not getting better. Well, I mean, I'm gonna let it run for now. There really isn't much that we can do here. And I'll be back once some interesting things pop up. Or once we actually fabricate a plan to follow. Okay, I think we're gonna go and arrange a strategic marriage with the nobility. It's gonna increase our relations with them. It's gonna increase the loyalty, we're gonna get diplomatic reputation, chance of a new heir, which we really don't need. But it also helps with aristocratic influence, unfortunately, and it's gonna increase their power. But we really need to get them slightly higher, because I want to get it done and over with and um, revoke the familial service, because that one is really really bothering us. Uh, Money-wise, we're still bleeding. There's really not much that we can do, but we are very close to having the Orthodox Zealots raise against us, so I'm expecting them to do so any moment. We should also be really close to getting the next idea. Yeah, we will be able to do that in two months, hopefully. Other than that, not much is happening. We finished the navy. We're currently bleeding the materials quite heavily. Uh, about, what is it, 25 and then 8. So 33 uh, materials per month, which translates to about 340 uh, per year. Actually, no, it's more. Almost 400 actually per year. So we don't really have much time before we run out of naval materials, but you know, then we can just let our navies rest and see what's gonna happen. We finished some of the cores, uh, more of them are coming very soon, which hopefully is gonna help us with the um, you know, overextension and strain on the economy. So I'm looking forward to that one. I've been uh, constantly monitoring the neighbors and Really, not much is happening over there, so the situation is still the same as I reported on it before. So, professional officers. Whilst anyone can fight and die, commanding takes a certain skill that only surviving more than one battle affords. So, you are armament traditional decay lord by 1.5%, and professionalism increases by 0.5%. I think we can see here. Oh, we can see here. Here we gain. Okay, so we gain 0.5 from investment, 1 from military organization, professional officers 0 0.5, 0 0.7, and 0.9. And there is a decrease of 3.1. So, was that? It's 2. Yeah, it's gonna start increasing slightly, making our army more professional, which is great. Um, we've been drawing for quite some time now, so most of our troops now have a pretty decent extra bonus to their capability, which is gonna come in handy against these orthodox zealots. So they can raise in... Hmm. 
The biggest chance is in Philadelphia for my custom, of course. Well, if they raise over there, that's gonna be a huge issue. Please don't do that. Please raise over here. But just in case. And you guys can actually stop and go to here. I'd like to have it in place in case they raise in Philadelphia. That would be an ideal scenario. Green fabric, Achaia. Uh, okay, so let's see what the game is gonna throw in our face. Please don't be something that I'm gonna regret. Duke Adair's spider work. Okay. Took it out. No problem. Let's see the the Orthodox Zealots. We're gonna have to provoke the Kirim Separatists. And those are gonna be easy to beat. And then the rest is actually okay. But the river, the unrest is not great. Another area outbreak spawned in Verdra. We'll get an area in the Middle East. Um, and, uh, okay, that's far enough that it might not want to even spread to us. Our Ar Mehmed is. You have a prestigious dependent conclusion. Babbling buffoon. Hmm. Really? Yeah, we're gonna. Wait, can we... there was a disown. Uh, disown, disown. Nope. Okay, but we're just gonna get rid of him. Unfortunately. Uh, Mehmet was not meant to be. A babbling buffoon cannot be a ruler of our amazing empire. Okay, investment manager, spend a little bit of money, so let's just see what's going on. There's something else, or was it just one province? Or is it the fact that it's 1st of November? Oh no, it wasn't. Okay, we can see the effects, the investments in our economy very well in the review episode, so I'm happy that it continues, even though we're actually paying a fairly high amount. And we have only like 99 cold left, so the money that we have spent here are actually going to be hard to come by. Visus Finike. Ordu, Bursa, Strimon, Akshihir, Urwa, Vaishihir, Galapurpoi, Kidiki, Kassus, yeah, and these are just very small investments. We have to spread them over a large amount of territory. Okay, industrial development of two into Constantinople. That's what I wanted to see. Okay, the rest I don't really bother that much with. So come on. Okay, Rodos is now part of our patrimony of Cosia, Dodecanesis, and Thomagusta. So we can actually get you guys as a state. Who are you? Did it help with the. Uh, yeah, it did help with the. Actually, quite significant, it helped. Very significant of the chances of revolts. Good for us. Good for us. Okay, the strength is dropping significantly. We could provoke them. But now there's gonna be what? Any f trumps and chance. Good for use. Yeah, we can't really provoke them. There really is no reason to anyway. Let's just let them 
do what they want to do the best. The money is still an issue though. I'm not really happy about that. Okay, but no taxation. Uh, technologies are still way ahead of time. We're nowhere near getting the institutional service. I'm kind of mad because the fact that, you know, we could have been drilling this whole time. Other rebels are just preparing. And it really sucks. Well, what can we do? We will race eventually. And please give me an air game. I really want an air. The fact that I had gotten rid of the one that you gave me doesn't really mean that I don't want an air. Come on. Come on. In three months, or in three years. Okay, so the only one that's still calling is Severski Dunets. Other than that, we are doing good. So, can we see any immediate effect on our budget? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Anything else that we can do for you guys? Disown an unpopular relative. Okay, let's do that. And now we are going to remove the familiar appointments. So we're gonna... Uh, wait, we can't. No, we can't. Okay, something is wrong and I don't know what. We were able to before. Why are we not able now? Okay, Tessalia has been converted, which is a lie. Yep, that is a significant lie. The game is lying, everyone. The game is lying right into our face. Fasalia. Hmm. For spot. Doing us 99% losing against the Tonic Order and 4% against. Russia. Dang it. Dang it to hell. Bubonic outbreak spread in Akashira. Uh, that's not great. But there is nothing we can do, honestly, to you know, get rid of a plague. You really need magic instead of an empire. So what the hell are you guys doing? Uh, the Kirim separatists. Come on. Uh, we now have a fort at Crimea. So what will it be? Either or. Okay, here we go. Orthodox zealots. So where? Please be Philadelphia. Nope. Of course, yeah, of course. Okay, so we're gonna deal with them first and then we're gonna go after Kirim separatists. They don't have any cannons, but they get a decent stat. Ok, 
Okay, let's move you to from Augusta. And we will suppress the rebels once and for all. Because executing one definitely doesn't make him a martyr. And immediately gains popular following and a different leader. Okay, and good. Happy that I raised that fort because they are now sieging there. 17 and the last one. Come on. Okay, so you go and beat these. And you're gonna go to Crimea. Okay, good start. Should have our king leading this army. It's interesting. Okay, 9 4 during the fire phase. That's gonna cost them dearly. And so does shock phase. Okay, so we managed to defeat them. The sons of Mehmed II, the studious, and the fairest, and the entrepreneurial. Well, I mean, you are an entrepreneur. Uh, okay, well, Ahmed, that's not exactly the name I want. Discover the spread. Okay, we're gonna look at what we can see now. Where is it? Uh, no. Come on, 1st of January. Come on, 1st of January. Calm the hell on. Okay, sure. You can be also Mehmet. Okay, now we need to see these guys transported and going to take Remia. I really don't. This fort should theoretically protect it from a rise separatism, but I guess we just have to see. Our army will march north and defeat the rebels. And then we can actually deal with Serbia in the next episode because our truce is already over. Uh, we're finishing the last core. Stuff is looking good. And here goes the last. Regiment. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Now you guys march to Bordeaux. You guys will sail there. And we'll transport these units to Fyodor 57. Well, the game is throwing us a bone, but we're not going to be able to manage that in time. It's just too many. Enemies and too little time. Yep. Crime again the separatism. And was purged for good measure, because you can't really do one without the other. Didn't you know that? It is amazing. Because the people who loot your house and kill your wife and rape your daughter are definitely the ones that you want. <sighs> Yeah. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, just move the field over. We're gonna suppress them. Okay, is there anything else that we can do? No. So let's just do it this way, withdraw family from administration. 
Lower zero prestige, lowers legitimacy, lower state corruption. Yeah, that's what we want. The sickness of Padisha. Uh, that's not great. My man, the second has fallen ill and he cannot handle all aspects of ruling Osmanda devotee for the time being. How shall we handle this? More power to the nobility. Or. Hmm. Delegate Morton. Let's delegate Morton provinces. I still feel like that is the right way to go. I mean, it's gonna increase autonomy, but autonomy is fine. We are doing good with or without the autonomy. And I don't believe these guys will attack us, so we'll just attack them and be done with it. Okay, an 18k and uh, that one will strangle. This time it's Chanakova's first regiment of swivel guns. Uh, can you not? Oh, okay, so they already united. I kind of missed that. I thought that the 1000 men with cannons were still somewhere else. Okay, we'll go. Uh, this ought to be an absolute piece of cake, which it is, so we're just gonna siege it and take it back. And we'll need to do something with the money though, because the money situation is not great, but again, that's for Ser that's why Serbia is in the game, right? You know, they're basically like a fat stack of cash for us. So anyway, that's all from me for this episode and I'll see you in the next one. Till then, you guys take care.